up YouTube capital G sorry that I've been gone for a bit guys uh, the reason that I was gone was uh, my internet has actually been down so it's actually uh, screwed up some of my pojo trades I mean I've been able to you know keep up with YouTube a little bit you know on my iPhone you know uh, but as far as like uploading and actually shooting videos no because uh, for a little over two weeks I have like not had the internet or anything like that so um even the last video that i did was actually shot by my teammate um antonio but um anyways so uh i went to regionals over the weekend um i got some bad news and i guess uh some overall good news uh the bad news was my deck was stolen um just you know i've been playing this game for a while and uh i mean i guess you know shit happens you know eventually some dumb shit like that happens to everybody, you know. Uh, I get up, um, took my eyes off my deck for a minute. Uh, when I go to play my next round, realize my deck isn't there, go back, you know. Uh, no deck, so, you know, it is what it is. And the thing is, uh, it's not like I'm that guy, and you guys all know who that guy is. The I don't play Book of Moons unless they're championship, or I only play Stardust unless it's gold, unless it's a... Uh, uh, freaking ghost rare first edition i mean most of my cards you know like duality or solemn warnings or you know stuff like that like unfortunately to play anti-meta if you want to have a shot in this format you just have to you have to have those cards and they don't come in you know but one rarity and they're expensive but anyways i'm gonna tell you guys about the deck that i ran um I'll probably put pictures here because I mean I don't really have I don't have the deck to show unfortunately I told you my my deck got stolen all I have is my trade binder and like a pile of comments so you know but anyways and I'll I'll, I'll actually have another video about that um you know if there's anybody out there who would like to help me just kind of get back on my feet I'll have a second video and I'll explain more about the deck stolen and all that bullshit okay so I ran hero beat again. I was getting good vibes from the deck. It was testing well. I did have to make a lot of adjustments because um, I wasn't I wasn't beating plants like I should have been. Plants were giving me a lot of trouble, so I had to edit my deck. And then the last time I played Hero Beat, when I went five two at Roanoke, fish weren't even like a contending deck. It was more X Sabers, and fish kind of threw a threw, threw things in a loop. And same thing with uh, Gravekeepers. So, anyways. The deck is one Stratos, uh, three Neos Elias. I mean, those are self-explanatory. It's Hero Beat, so you have to run those. Um, two copies of Honest because, you know, you got Thunder Kings and Neoses and D Warrior Ladies, so, you know, keep those guys protected. Two copies of Thunder King. I ran three at Roanoke, but uh, I dropped it down to two. The main reason, it's not like Thunder King isn't good or anything. Thunder King's still great. Um, the problem was many times in this deck, like, First turn, you generally want to turn. You generally want to summon like Stratos, unless you're reading, you know, a deck that's gonna spam special summons. Then you'll summon something else. But a lot of times, Thunder King would clog my hand. Like I would want a normal something else. Like I would have Neos and I have a Spark, and I want to summon that. Or I would have a Stratos on the field, and I want to use Grand Mole to pick off their face down, so I can just you know punch in for damage. And Thunder King would generally like it would just sit in my hand like i don't want to summon you right now there are better things to summon so i had to cut it to two uh basically there's no difference between two and three when you run three dualities uh you really won't notice the difference two dd warrior lady because you know she gets rid of state uh synchros and she gets rid of dumb shit and plant synchro like um car trooper and dandy line and shit like that also can helping his grave keepers getting rid of spy uh here's a big change in my deck um, I took out my two copies of Cyber Dragon for two copies of Fossil Dyna. Uh, Cyber Dragon, like, the way the meta has shifted, just ain't getting it done. Against decks like Frogs or Plants, they don't really care about Cyber Dragon. But, I mean, again, it's, uh, something like Plants, Fossil Dyna, just Rex House. Um, you know, they really don't have anything they, they can just summon and attack over it. I mean, if you're playing the Chaos Plants... Basically, the only two outs that they have that they can just summon and attack over it are Tomato and Card Trooper. Everything else either has to be set or it's like Lone Fire, Dandelion, you know, special. They can't use um, Spore. They can't use uh, Glow Up Ball. So you really shut the whole deck down. They can't use Debris. Can't Synchro. I mean, it really just stops them in their tracks. And against uh, Frog Monarchs, uh, I played a guy at round one and I just summoned it. 
after he dumped the uh, frog uh, in the graveyard from um, Swap Frog, and I just attacked like six turns in a row in one. But Fossil Dino puts in work. Uh, one Gores, I added Gores to my deck because Gores is just clutch as shit. Like it brings you back into games and can get you control. It also gets rid of uh, Synchros. It's like an ace card in this deck, to be honest. It's like a boss monster. Uh, one copy of Banisher. Uh, I like Banisher. It was it's clutch in the frog matchup and um, the uh, the what's it called the uh, even the fish matchup. To be honest, you just keep Banisher protected and they have a hard time dealing with it. Same thing about the plant matchup. You just want to win one because you can't use Honest with it, so it's not an Honest target. But um, gets rid of dandelions and spores and car troopers and stuff. And one copy of Mole to get rid of synchros. Um, my spells are pretty much the exact same as the last time. Three copy of Duality. I mean, you have to run it because it gives your deck the speed to survive. Anti-Meta really just can't defend itself without it. Three copies of Spark. Two Book of Moons. Uh, I love Book of Moon, but I cut it to two to make space for other stuff. Um, again, really didn't make a, that much of a difference because my trap lineup is basically all defense. You know what I mean? Two copies of MST. I was running one, one MST at the last regional, and I told you guys I hated it. But um, unfortunately, what I found was I was playing against Gravekeepers, and the deck was just, just raping me because once they got Necro Valley on the field, the only way I had to kill it was Gemini Spark, and that just wasn't cutting it. So um, two MSTs gives you a really, it gives you like a push matchup versus Gravekeepers, like a 50-50 matchup. And uh, it's also good against Black Wings, and it's, I think it's starting to become a staple, to be honest, like two MSTs. Rodan Ecall, um, Dark Dark Hole Reborn, uh, those are all pretty obvious. And then I added in, I, I left in my cross out. Um, I would consider ditching this card right now because frogs and samurais are like so rampant and then black wings are going to be seeing a lot of play. Okay, traps. Three copies of Deprison. I think I ran that last time. And three copies of Warning. Uh, those are your defense. Basically, especially Deprison, that's the way you keep your Fossil Dina protected against mini decks in the format. If you have like Fossil Dina and Deprison, I mean... Decks like Plants and Frog Monarchs, like they start shitting bricks because they're like, oh my god, I can't do anything. Um, uh, two copies of Evac, I still like it. I like it over Bottomless. So, I mean, it's just a prayer preference. You could run two copies of Bottomless. I just don't think it's that great anymore. One Mirror Force, one Solemn, and one Hero Blast. I cut Hero Blast to, two, uh, to one from two because it just wasn't that effective anymore. Um... Like uh, for some reason, I kept I kept drawing it against Grave Keepers when they had Necro Valley out, and that's what I guess that's really what like pushed it over the edge. But I mean, one and two, you really don't notice that big of a difference. Um, I think this deck is still really good. Uh, Hero Beat is really viable. I would say this though, I don't think it's very future proof right now. As far as the deck has a huge problem with Six Samurai, it is a bad matchup. Fossil Dina doesn't do jack shit because they can just summon and attack over it. Like every monster in their deck basically is bigger than Fossil Dina. Um, and if you can't keep the, if you can't keep a monster off the board with like warning or negation, then they get their gateway advantage and they're just gonna like swarm you and run over you. Um, most decks that do swarming and run over you, you know, it all has to do with like locking down special summons to beat that deck. But with Six Samurai, gateway gives them so many ways to get out of uh out of locks and binds and shit like that. So. You know, that's what my deck is. Uh, I think it's pretty good. Um, I would recommend if you've got a regional coming up over the next couple weeks, trying it out. But outside of that, uh, I, would, I don't know about it for next format.